Hi, Dr. Matthew Weiner. I'm the author of the book, Pound to Cure. I'm also a bariatric surgeon and weight loss expert. I'm here to talk to you about smoking, weight loss, and bariatric surgery. These are things that I see and deal with in my practice quite commonly, and I thought I'd make uh, a short presentation so that you could have a better understanding of it. I think the most important thing to understand about smoking in terms of weight loss is that it's actually an incredibly effective weight loss agent. Now, again, I'm not recommending you, you uh, smoke, but when we look at our metabolic thermostat, at our body's maintenance of a certain weight, your set point, what we find is that inhaling tobacco smoke on a regular basis will bring your set point down. This is dose dependent, so only a few cigarettes typically doesn't do it. It's usually a half a pack a day or a pack a day, or as you get up to two packs a day, we start to see significant weight loss. Um, but the, you know, the, the, for some reason, this, this substance causes weight loss and it triggers your body to metabolize calories faster and decrease your hunger, bringing down your body weight. Now again, this does not mean that you should start smoking, but it merely is an explanation of why people gain weight when they quit smoking. And so when any patient comes to me for a surgical evaluation, smoking cessation is part of the pre-op process. We don't operate on people who are smoking. Um, but we also are looking at that patient's weight, trying to minimize weight gain, um, trying to, in many cases, uh, obtain weight loss in order to satisfy some of the insurance company requirements. And it can be a real struggle if you quit smoking, which causes your set point to go up. And when, if you watch my videos, you know if your set point goes up, so does your body weight. You're basically powerless to resist this change. So we quit smoking, we see the weight loss go up in this pre-op process. For me, it's about educating patients. It's okay, we know your weight's gonna go up when you quit smoking. We're gonna have to deal with it. We'll deal with the insurance company. Sometimes I have to get on the phone and talk them through this whole process. Um, but it's so critical that you quit smoking because of the complications associated with it after surgery that it's just a necessary part of the process. So understanding how this works. This is not because you've been orally fixated and now turned to food. It's, it's a physiologic change. Inhaling tobacco smoke at a high dose causes weight loss. When you stop it, you'll see weight gain. The one other critical thing about bariatric surgery that you must understand is that a gastric bypass surgery plus smoking equals a miserable patient. And I can pretty much guarantee you this is 100% of the time. The, the tobacco smoke will decrease the blood flow to the lining of the intestine. You'll develop ulcers or ulcer-like symptoms. And as a result, every time you eat, it'll feel like you're swallowing gravel. You'll typically lose a lot of weight because of that, but again, that's really, you, you, you are one of those gastric bypass patients who looks like the walking dead um, if you smoke after surgery because you barely eat, you're miserable all the time, and I promise you, you will not be happy. Um, so uh, this is a, my personal guarantee, we have to stop the tobacco smoke if you're proceeding with a gastric bypass surgery. If at any point down the road, you start smoking again, this equation will hold true. You're not okay after a couple of years. Uh, and you'll run into issues with ulcers and perforations and fistulas and all kinds of very difficult problems. I'll fix a couple of these a year and I will tell you they're the most challenging surgeries I, I do. I see these patients oftentimes too will come into my office who are referred by their primary care doctor and they're not doing well, they're struggling, they're uncomfortable, they're having a lot of pain after abdominal, after the gastric bypass surgery. They're sent to me to figure out what the complication is and typically within about three seconds of walking into the exam room I have my diagnosis because I can smell the tobacco on the clothes and I recognize that this is what's doing this. So, when we're talking about sleeve gastrectomy surgery, it's a little less clear. And I think that you may be okay if you smoke after a sleeve gastrectomy, um, but you may not be. I don't know. But it's not that guarantee we see with a gastric bypass. So in those patients who are really very, very addicted to tobacco, and let me tell you something, I do not judge. Tobacco is incredibly addictive. Quitting smoking is really, really hard to do. And when I'm working with a patient and they express their doubts about their ability to quit, 
long term, their fear about starting up again, the fact that they've quit in the past and restarted again, then these are patients I'm going to steer toward a sleeve gastrectomy because I know that if they do have recidivism, they do start smoking again, we're going to have a big problem and that's not a problem I like to deal with. So if you are uncertain about your ability to quit in the long term run, then a sleeve gastrectomy is a better choice because it doesn't guarantee you'll have a problem. You may, but you're not guaranteed the way you do with a gastric bypass. But I think the final plea and the most important point is that bariatric surgery is not about becoming thinner. It's about becoming healthier. It's about changing your lifestyle to embrace whole foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and beans. It's about moving toward physical activity as your primary form of leisure, about enjoying exercise and performing it on a regular basis. All of these changes are necessary and critical to be successful after surgery. And if we're going to, 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 to be able to do all of these things, I think we have to eliminate the tobacco from our lives. So if you have any more questions about weight loss surgery, um, feel free to visit my website or um, our YouTube channel or Facebook uh, page um, uh, or pick up a copy of A Pound of Cure on Amazon. Thank you.